and welcome back to another episode of Barbershop Talk Like This. I'm your host, Trader Barber. Other host, Kush, is in the building. And today in the building, we got my man, actor, writer, producer, director, Mr. Travis Winfrey. Yo, yo, how you doing, on, brother? Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up? Now, what up? Dice, Dice is actually, I'm going to bring him in on the line here in a second. Um, he's actually out of town. Uh, celebrating his birthday. He is in uh, Palm Springs. Palm Springs. Oh, sh- Happy birthday, Dice. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Dice. Dice. We'll get that done Turning 25 again. So anyway, a couple things we do before we kick our show off. First thing we do is we like to thank God for waking us up this morning, allowing each and every last one of us to be here, and just continuing to bless us in all of our endeavors and everything that we do in life. Amen. 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 Even though now, I took Sunday off. Podcast. I mean, I ain't gonna tell him. We start, you know. Hey, we 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 had all day. We had all day. So uh, now the second thing we do when we kick our show off, we like to start our show off with a shot. Salute, salute, salute. Salud. Thanks for having me, fellas. Bang, you're welcome. Oh man, he took his mm. off. Well, yeah. Air time. Woo, that shit got me. I did that a little too easy. <sighs> man, right, I drive you. Uh. You from Atlanta, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, by way of New York, of course. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, so. Okay. Cush is Cush is uh, yeah. from Atlanta yeah, by way of yeah. by way of Germantown. You got that Redan look. Yeah, on. That you know what what I got that Redan look. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 you got that done with look, it. Look, I went to Stone Mountain first, so I grew up in Chimney Trace. Like okay, I know what you're talking. Yeah, so I played nigga. ball at Wade Walker Park. Nigga, Eagles, all right. Okay. Cardinals. Okay. Uh, so okay. Redan, look, look how cold Atlanta is. They recruit people from high school to play park ball. Mm-hmm. Like they'll try and get you to move your house so you can play park ball mm-hmm. down there. That's park the kind of ball, school. yeah, yeah, yeah. like wow. Pop Warner football. Yeah, really. Yeah. Redan and um, yeah, Redan is a serious school, man. I, my girl went to Redan. I, I most niggas' there. girls went to Redan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody had a girl, everybody had a girl in my high school. You open Trust up that. Girl locker, and it's like six dudes from different schools yeah. that don't go there. It's just Atlanta. Hey, nigga. Different. So it's how he said Rashad. Rashad back Rich in the day. Rashad. Rashad back in the day. Uh-huh. Rashad was the nigga that you would go and you will visit a chick from another school. Like, you'll go visit a chick to go to, like, East Atlanta or some shit, Doug or some shit, Clark, you know what I'm saying? Clark, yeah. And you go to a house and you don't see no pictures of Noah, but Rashad picture used to be in every girl. <laughs> Rashad, <Yeah. laughs> Rashad was that nigga, dog. You like couldn't go that. nowhere without finding Rashad picture, nigga. My Dice, are, are, is that you coming in on us? Yeah, 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 I'm here, I'm here, man. What up, Dice? I'm waiting, on my, I'm waiting on my car. What up, bro? Okay, so go ahead and continue to mute us because we're picking up all of the background noise while you're waiting yeah, for Yeah, nigga, we're going to hear the street I, in Palm Springs. When I, when I got something to say, then I, I'll just, I'll mute it. All right, Happy birthday, all right. bro. Happy birthday, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, man, I'm writing I'm writing the show about Atlanta right now. It's called AT Alien. I'm in the middle. Well, I'm not right now. I'm pitching it. We've been pitching it in that work so far. But it's all about... We need to have a conversation. Yeah, man, I've been talking to nothing but Atlanta folk because it's such a unique place with, with music. I, I like to think that entertainment started in Atlanta Nigga, in 1996. Stone Mountain is something in the yeah. water yeah. in I Stone said, Mountain. I actually, I actually never been to it, man. Bro, don't, don't go. Yeah, yeah nigga, you late. Don't go. Don't go. You'll never come back. You missed it. You of all people definitely don't need You'll never come back. Yeah, you missed it. You missed it. I got to come back. I had my son in California. Okay. He'll move there, too. This nigga like... Like, like, dice, dice like, they allow dice. you to drink in the strip clubs. Dice. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I didn't want to mention the strip clubs this Sunday. But they allow you to drink in the strip clubs. Also, too, they allow you to drink in the strip clubs in Philly. It's called, listen, it's not called. Like it's not like Atlanta. It's <laughs> not yeah. like Atlanta. He don't understand. Yeah. The girls pay you in Atlanta. Yeah. yeah like, it's like that. Yeah. Just bring some lemon yeah, pepper wings yeah. and a vape pen. Hey, dog. No. What's crazy is you go to Atlanta most nights for the, for the, you go to a strip club in Atlanta, you might not have even went for the strippers. You might have went to go get some of the wings. Some wings. Like some wings. Yeah. I'm not even You might have went to go Look, get wings. this is my nigga. move. When I take, I'll take you to Atlanta. I don't go to like, pink. I don't know if I should say this on the podcast. You, you can, can say whatever you, can say whatever you whatever want to. Listen, want. This is barbershop hey, talk is like I'm this. I, I've been fired for a job from saying I ain't worried oh. about what I'm saying. I'm I got saying you. I don't want to give my secret away. You right. know what I mean? Oh, but, yeah. So Dunwoody, everybody goes to Pink Pony. Okay. Uh, you know the clubs they go to, the ones you hear on the radio, Masters, Blue Flame, Strokers, yeah, Diamonds, yeah. all that. Nope. Magic Onyx. Ladies. I'm gonna drive that ass up to Dunwoody, and I'm gonna take you to one of them strip clubs called. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you the name. 
what is all them Abercrombie and Finch models from Perimeter Mall? <laughs> you know, look, it's, it's real dead in there. But but <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So they used to have one downtown. <laughs> We not going to Cheetah. We going with all Nigga. the girls who used to work at Hollister and the mall and stuff, walking around. All you need, I'm telling you, dog. Twelve. I used to drive wings. home from Pennsylvania in college in 1996, and on the drive home, I would wear sweatpants because when I got to Atlanta, I was going straight. To the <laughs> it's strip. going to Oasis. I know. That's the one. Oasis I'm going will straight play to the strip club. <laughs> Nigga, oh, nigga, this, I, this yeah. is oh, I found the ignorant out my, my girl in high school. I was my. She was a little older than me, but. That was my first experience was, you know, 10th grade, it was summer, about to go back for 11th grade year. My girl, I found out she was stripping at Oasis. I was like, wow. Oh, what? Wow. Yeah. Wait, how old was she? You a, you a stripper? She she had just graduated. <laughs> okay, of course. So she was. Okay. Hey, 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 listen. Hey, listen. No, I mean, I'm, my son's mom, I met her at the strip club. Dude. Listen, Atlanta is, if you see people on dates on Sunday, you, at the strip club, yeah, not even they might, yeah, it's, yeah. It's such a unique culture, yeah, out there, man. Like it's it's so it's like Atlanta different, dog. You know, you see a bunch of people. Well, 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 look, yeah. I mean, like like yeah. out here, uh, I mean, I know out here a lot of a lot of strippers that you know, what I mean, that I know that they go doing they doing because my boy was a manager in about four different strip clubs. But a lot of these people are actually paying. You know what I mean, for like their college tuitions. You know what I mean, like they're not just doing it. You know what I mean, as ratchet. Like they're doing that shit to help them build. It depends on which chick you're talking about. We seen Players Club. We seen Players Club. Right, nigga. That's like that's like that's like one percent of all strippers, nigga. One percent of a hundred, nigga. Dice, dice. It's a whole lot of strippers that I met in the nineties. That was paying for college in the nineties. That and they was still, still in the strip club. They ain't got no listen. degree. And they I, ain't I'm gonna tell you like this. Look, I, I told you, listen. If you go to Memphis, there is like five strip clubs per block. You know what I'm saying? Them chicks down. No, 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 no. What, what I'm you, saying is like I know, know, know that they're know. Rat- know. I, I know that they're yeah. ratchets, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. but, uh, but, you know, there are some people out there that actually want it. To try to you know better themselves. Yeah, I mean, but Atlanta don't even have that stigma on it. That's that's yeah, the crazy some, thing. No one ever asks about college in there. Yeah, you know? some some yeah. of them chicks, they like, what are you gonna be when you grow up? A stripper, uh, star, <laughs> right? Let, let, Famous. Let, let, Hot Atlanta's tanks. Black yeah. Hollywood now, low key. Oh, yeah, they feel like it's it is. not even low key they, anymore. They, they, like they're uh, shooting everything in Atlanta. Yeah. The, the the tax incentives. They just did a new. Uh, they passed a new bill where you can you get twenty five percent of the music that you produce. Wow. And you can stack it on top of the thirty five percent film. So so Atlanta is making a hard push. I'm going. I'm going back to shoot. I'm. Move, I'm trying to move back to Atlanta for real. I couldn't take it. I, I look, man. I couldn't take it. Shh. I couldn't I take it. I went back to Stone Mountain. I don't go back to Stone Mountain. Yeah, you got to live downtown. Stone Mountain's different now. Yeah, yeah. you got to live in Buckhead. You got to live, yeah. you got yeah, I went yeah. back to Stone Mountain and lived for a year, dog, and I'm telling you, yeah. I couldn't walk to 7-Eleven. I couldn't walk to the weed shop. I couldn't do, I couldn't go nowhere. I and I was just atrium. like, this shit is not the same. I can't take it. I drove past the atrium Memorial it's Drive. It's dead! But car washes, It's, man, it's dead! Memorial so Drive looked to be terrible! Oh, I my God! That used to be popping. I remember going down to the Freak Nick in Atlanta. Uh, oh, that's, that's, that's where we met. met that's where we met. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't allowed back, back to go like to Freak Nick. Yeah, 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 nigga, 96, that, 97, that was, yeah. last year, right? That, like, not, 98 last was the last year. Yeah. Trey, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? You know when I, I, like, I remember the the freestyling in the car the day that y'all was leaving, right? That's the thing that always sticks out to me about that, right? We have, we got, we have a tape of it too, but nah, we was at the atrium on Memorial Drive that Saturday night too. And then it was another situation that freak happened. Nigga, freak niggas always a blur. The only thing I yeah, nigga, like certain shit be blurred. coming back to me. Like Trey was there for that. He <laughs> had the, uh, the spray, the airbrush Tweety Bird shirt, Man. the airbrush Taz Man. shirt back in '96. I remember that. That was the best year ever. Uh, 1996. Well, no, just period. Oh, I okay. Tell, '95 I, and '96 for I, sure I, I in tell, Atlanta. I tell everybody I know, 1996 was the greatest year, and I'm not even on like, oh, I was in it. It's just. I wasn't even really allowed to do shit. Right. Outcast, man. Music, man. dance, choreographed dancing got hot, like yeah. in '96 when it was groups. Yeah, I was, we was I doing was in that. college at that time. Uh, Boy, it was it was crazy. We man. had been in college. We was yeah. about to graduate. I, I, we should have been no, about no, to graduate. Yeah, listen, for me, I, I set out a year, so that was like that's that why I like, said we uh, should have been. Freak, freak Nick will set you back a year. That, yeah, that's what yeah, that's man. what it was for. Man. Man. My, my, my first trip to Freak Nick, I tell you, look, I'm sitting in my apartment at my school. And my bro called me up. He's like, what you doing? I was like, shit, chilling. He's like, 
You want to go to Freak Nick? I was like, sure, why not? I was like, when we leave it. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, like, about an hour. (laughs) Okay. All all I need is like 45 minutes to get there. So uh, let me pack up some shit and I'll be there. And nigga, before you know it, we are on our way to Atlanta. Like, I had no intentions of going to Freak Nick. (laughs) Next thing he know, he a father or two. Right, right, right. right. I am a father or two. Yeah, I know. Right. Many years later. Many years later. Listen, I finished. Watch this this episode lead to somebody like, he look familiar. (laughs) No, 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 we don't. He looks familiar. I I grew up in a household. Listen, my mom told me this growing up. We can deal with anything but a baby. Yeah. My mama told my me mama, the like, same thing. You go thing. to jail. Too, you go to jail. Too. You call me. We'll work it out. Yeah. You do that. Whatever. We work it out. But you have a baby. You got to get a job. Your ass get. You getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. And she said, you will raise it. Yeah. You ain't going to be no deadbeat. You will raise Like, yeah. you going to make me be a father? Absolutely. My mom That's got me like kind of I remember that. My mom bought me rubbers. My mom bought me rubbers, dog. My mom didn't have to buy me rubbers. My mom was the first person to buy me rubbers. I was myself. I was you know what I'm saying? I was buying rubbers before I could even fit them motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. 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 She used to fit me like hammer pants. You know what I'm saying? You ever put your dick in the collar? That shit like a hammer pants. You're not supposed to put your feet in them. That's why. You're not supposed to put your feet first. Not lately. Not lately. That shit. Baggy like a hammer pants. You know what I'm saying? That nigga's stupid. Anyway, yeah, Freak Nick changed yeah. everything, man. Freak oh, Nick ninety three changed everything for me. That was my first Freak Nick. That 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 man, man. Just that not was right after ninety three. That was my first time in Atlanta, but I was there with a college prep program. I was in high school, and we was there like literally like about a week before Freak Nick. He was like, "Yo, y'all gonna go to Freak Nick this weekend?" We was like, "No, what's Freak Nick?" Like, yeah, they, like, the city shuts down with pure ignorance. They was like, pure ignorance. Nigga. Nigga. For yeah. that's, that's what the niggas response It wasn't was no picnic. Me. I said, listen. I it said, was I a said, traffic listen. jam for yeah. freaks. Hold on. I said, yeah. I said, what's freak nigga? He said, nigga. That was his only response. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like, but what they do? He said, nigga. <laughs> It's Atlanta eyes wide shut. That's what at, look, at that point. I was like, you know what? I gotta go to Freak Nick, dog. Like, oh man, one day. And I, hey, I made my way down there, and it's a good shit. thing they shut that shit down. Nigga, the Me Too actually, movement they, would listen, shut they, that they, shit they down. They brought it back this year. There. Yeah, yeah. They the Me Too movement. This year. It wasn't. It, yeah, it's they not. No, they didn't. They tried to do it. They said they ago, did yeah. in name. They did yeah. in action. In, in actual. <laughs> Nah, nah. I've been to the Greek, Dice. It ain't the same. It ain't the same, Dice. The Greek is dope as fuck, but it ain't the same. But even that Greek shit in Atlanta is like ten times more crunk. Like uh, just, just don't just. The the Greek picnic in Philly back in uh in the nineties used to be off the fucking chain. But like in the nineties, it was crazy. crazy. Yeah, in the nineties, in the nineties, it was nuts. Like 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 that that shit was wild. Like I ain't never been nothing like that until. Until niggas started fucking raping girls and shit like that and fucking at, at the, in the plat. You know what, what? I'm saying? Like that. Oh, that's what, 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 what are you talking about? Where is this guy? Dice your friends, going? ignorant as hell. Well, that's why, <laughs> that's why Freaknik got shut down. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly why Freaknik got Nigga, shut down. Nigga, I seen, I, you know, I seen Borderline. On goddamn eighty five that year that you was there, Trey, when eighty five was just we shut parked, down. Nigga, we parked. Parked on, on eighty five and, yeah. walked. and walked. Yeah. I was For like, exit. Nigga, I was like, this is the most insane shit I have ever seen in my life. It was fun though, I'm telling you. Oh, nigga. While y'all walk past, you walk past two dudes selling the, the airbrush Tasmanian oh, devil stupid. shirt and the Tweety yeah. Bird stupid. shirt. This nigga is like, stupid. I swear to God, though. This nigga is stupid as hell. <laughs> this nigga is stupid as hell. Comedy show tickets. Yeah, comedy show tickets, but that, that was the life, man. You, you hopped right on the martyr and went downtown just yeah. to stand in the hopped middle of the Hopped on the martyr, people. nigga, we drove. Yeah, we was we, in cars. Yeah. That, yeah, that was the mistake. Nigga, we, yeah, we, because we was nah, always. Nah, it wasn't listen, back it then. Wasn't, nah, it, it wasn't. Like, listen, like, it was one of them situations you didn't even mind being stuck in traffic. Okay. Nigga. It's like, it's like, 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 nigga, we pull up, it's just girls twerking on the way of so car anyway. Trey, listen, Trey. So look, 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 we would sit there literally maybe like five minutes just to see if it's going to move. We're like, yeah, this shit ain't moving. Nigga, we would literally get out. Right. And leave your door, car. Close the door, lock that bitch up, and we start walking. And you walking. And nigga, when you 15, come back, listen, your car still 15, there. Listen, crazy. nigga, we gone for like an hour. Yes. Come back, nigga, the car still there. In ain't the even move. The, ain't even move. Ain't even move. Middle, ain't nobody move. Of the street. Man, I miss those. That's days. why they oh, shut man. down Freak Nick, That's nigga. Hey. Nigga, no, well, okay, a... full disclosure, they shut down Freak Nick because some girl got raped. Right. It wasn't the traffic, I promise you. It was, hey. it was the rape, but yeah. And man, they could, yeah. And they had it on video. She wasn't on yeah. I'm going to yeah. tell you like this. Listen, nigga, I remember uh, some of them, 
I don't, it's kind of fucked up to say, but some of them girls was putting themselves in those situations. Yeah, nigga, it was a car listen. we walked by with two, you know. With the bitch on with the top. Two, yeah, I was just nigga. about to say, bitch was on top, butt ass nigga. Butt I mean, ass bitch, naked. Them niggas was going crazy. Nigga, they were trying to flip the car. Yeah, they were trying to flip the car. I'm like, nigga, what is all y'all going to do with one bitch yeah. in the middle of the street? You right. Know, you want to know something? It's funny that we talking about this because I, I had this revelation carnival. So my mom's Trinidadian. My I, mother's a Bajan and my father is a Jamaican. I come from Yad and I's a Bajan. So we do crop over. We don't do Kalalu. We do cuckoo. <laughs> you, you look, I went to Trinidad for a carnival. And me as an adult, like, I'm, I grew up in Atlanta, man. All our dances was freaking and shit. Nah, know it's know not I mean? like carnival. It, but but I thought to myself, man, I'm old. Because I, I looked and I was like, this is hypersexualized. And I don't know how I feel about it. And it had me flashback. At Carnival? Yeah. You didn't yeah. drink enough rum. No, I didn't. That's yeah. why. Yeah. I had, I you didn't smoked. drink enough rum. I didn't drink. I didn't do nothing. I, like, well, I if like, you drink rum, <laughs> all that hypersexuality <laughs> and that calypso, come I'm on. You forget it. all about that witch. Also, also, waist, also, I, she waist has moved too nice with that music right there. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> peace. I see it. Wait. How she waist <laughs> does roll like that. Listen, bro, what? You, you, nigga, you didn't, you didn't have to put your Jamaican accent on, bro. That ain't Jamaican, That's African, nigga. by that the way. That ain't Jamaican. He, he sound like Akon. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you ain't never that been treated. sound like Dej Mahansu and Amistad. Like, <laughs> hey, nigga, just talk to Jamaica, just regular, nigga. Like, shit. Oh, I'll throw on my Jamaican. It, it, you, you know, know what I noticed? For two episodes, Dice ain't said not once, you know what I mean? No, he has. Nah, he ain't he said. He has. Hey, listen, Dice says, you know what I mean, so much, you just don't. You just it. miss it? What, where you from, Dice? Camden, son. Camden. I'm, from, I'm from Jersey. I'm okay. from Jersey. Okay. Yeah. When Dice yeah, calls me, it's like, dirty uh, Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen, I mean, but I, but I dealt with Jamaican. You see, I said, look, he just I mean, said it. You didn't even yeah, hear it. I heard him. I heard him. Yeah, I heard it. I caught it. He said it twice. He said it twice. You know what I mean? I mean, that's that. You ever, that's you ever, he said you it twice. Nigga said that shit twice. You know what I mean? Know what I mean, not only in uptown, only in uptown Harlem. You ever heard a nigga say "nah mean" before he said what he "nah mean"? You know what I'm saying. Clap your hands, get to the point. Hey, Dice. 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 What now? Hey, listen, 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 we ain't talking about this, but I went home um, about a week about a week ago with, um, with my son. So I went back home and I realized why I say not me so much. Nigga, I was talking to my cousin and this nigga said not me more than I say not me. I don't believe that I shit. Like, Nobody that. believes that. You just, you just, Nobody you believes just that, that, Dice. That. You got to prove that shit. We need video evidence for you to prove that shit. <laughs> Only person who said not me. All, all you did was hear buddy. yourself and him. Yo, 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 listen. On our next podcast, I'm going to call two of my cousins from back home and we're going to listen to how many times these motherfuckers say nah mean. We're going to run a nah mean counter. Yeah, Joe Joe Budden say <laughs> nah mean more than that. Yeah, just, Joe just, Budden. Yeah, he's from it. Jersey also. Yeah, that's it. That's he's from Jersey. Jersey. These niggas right. have a whole conversation like, yeah, I mean, yo, nah mean. Nah mean. Nah mean. Nah mean. Nah mean. Nah mean. So nah mean. So nah mean. Nah mean. Nah mean. So nah I'm saying nah mean. And that's what happened. Nah mean. Nah mean. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's L.A. That's L.A. Man. Anyway. So how did you uh, how did you get off in acting? Like, what made you say this is what I want to do? Was it a young age, older age? From Atlanta too. Yeah, yeah. From Dunwoody High School, because that's not a that's not the, the creative not, arts. You, not. you play, you play I football? Yeah, yeah, I play ball. I you play know football. Rod Perryman? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. that's family. Oh, okay, yeah, that's there. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I was gonna say when you said Rashid, Rashad, I was like, which one though? Because I like play basketball. So I might know him too. You probably know. Atlanta's one of those places. Man, we went to everybody. We Talent all know shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh yeah. so acting was never on my radar like at all. It was just when you, you it, when I was growing up in Stone Mountain, you know, there just wasn't no future. That's right. all it was, you know, like it, there was no thought about what I was going to do. I was going to work at some place. You was getting a job. That's it. That's it. That's it. I That's mean, even we if I went raised to college. To do out there. We were going to get yeah. a job. Even if I went to college, I worked at some coaxial cable company or something. Yeah, so or AT&T. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or SunTrust right. or some shit like that. Bullshit. Yep. So I, didn't, I never thought of it, man. And I, I, I kid you not, the way I got into the business was... Luck of the draw. I had a I had a girlfriend at the time. I was in college, and I you know I was getting in trouble. I had access to. I was a physics major, so I had access to the lab, and I had oh, some gangster shit. roommates. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, yeah, so niggas in yeah. there cooking up Molly and yeah. Ian. It shit. was called ecstasy back then. Yeah, yeah right, 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 right. Yeah. So if you yeah. ever had a double stack, 
Oh, had triple the MDMA. Right, yes, right. So I had the my recipe, share of party night. The he recipe made was the triple stack. Yeah, basically. exactly. The recipe he said was he was Wendy's at his college. So I used to work at the Gap and like structure back in the day. It was called what Mall? Was Express. What Mall? Lennox. You know what Mall? Okay, okay. That's how we stole everything. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I had my dudes coming in from like because I grew up in Stone Mountain, but then we transitioned to Dunwoody. Yeah. So I had my dudes coming in just pulling leather jackets. Perimeter right Mall. Yeah. It's the same way. Perimeter Mall. Perimeter yeah. 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 Lennox. So yeah, both malls, but. Long story short, man, I, my girl at the time, th- things was just going real Atlanta. Niggas I was used in to trouble. walk out of Linux with thick ass <laughs> legs, nigga. <laughs> Yo, for real. Uh, Niggas used uh, to walk out of Linux with the thickest, hottest, warmest Yo, ass legs. Summertime. Nigga. Summertime eight, with five seconds. pairs of yeah. jeans yeah. on walking yeah. out of Linux, nigga. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, bro? yeah, yeah. It was, it was bad. Bro. Oh, so man. I, I had that life. In college, I was at Georgia State at the time. I was running track, working a bunch of jobs at UPS. Caught a hall? No, I, I lived in the Olympic dorms. Oh, okay, that's and even I had, worse. I had it by myself. By that's the way. even worse. I had a four bedroom dorm by myself. This oh. goes into why I ended up being into the acting. So, cause we want to get into his story. I had a, I had a like the things I did in them dorms. Yeah, yeah right. right. <laughs> I the things it. I did I in those it. dorms. This is not about <laughs> your trip <laughs> down memory that, lane. But that's the same thing. That's the same thing though. We was we had the same experience. Uh, so yeah, I had a girlfriend at the time who. Was a uh, was working <laughs> needed a job. She wanted to get a job as a cocktail waitress at a strip club. I had a problem with that. I was like, nah, because you're gonna start dancing. She was like, you don't know me. How you gonna say that about me? This is how it starts, babe. Yeah, We've seen yeah, this yeah, before yeah, yeah. from experience. And right. So all of this happens. I'm picking her up one night from the club. Mind you, I just found out the night before I found a dude's number. This is when they still wrote phone numbers down on paper. About yeah. 38. Pagers. So, yeah, you're right. I had a pager. Pager. So, so <laughs> I find a number in her purse. I'm like, oh, this is this is not going. This is not happening. This ain't how it's yeah, supposed yeah, to be. Right. I'm standing in Masters. I'm standing out in front of Masters Club. Wow. Okay. She, she cocktail waitress in there. And okay. I'm singing Genuine So Anxious. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> <laughs> Meet me at eleven thirty. <laughs> Bitch, you go back. Your back gonna get Yo, dirty. Uh, <laughs> I had one leg up on the wall, like leaning back, <laughs> snapping and singing to myself. I swear to God. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, and out walks like a group of niggas walk out. And one of them is like, "Yo, dog, you wrote that?" And I was like, "No, that's genuine." He was. He gave me his card. It turns out to be Kyle from Jagged Edge's cousin. Uh, uh yeah, from Jagged Edge. Okay. Like, so it's his cousin, and he gives me that. He's like, "Yo, come by the studio, lay down some track." He's super drunk, by the way. And I'm all, all Kyle's singing. All, up. Kyle's always super. But drunk. it was his cousin, okay. not Kyle. That Kyle runs in the family. Yeah, so, I, I <laughs> everything is going bad, man. I just decide out of the blue to just hit this dude up. I go over the house. Kyle, I walk in the house. Kyle sitting at the table, drunk, getting his hair braided drunk. by two girls. I never seen so much weed. I never drank or smoked at this time. I'm in college, by the way, and I, I was just super straight at straight laced criminal, but no drugs. Right? Right. <laughs> I was making them, but, you know, you never criminal, get high. but no drugs. You never get high on your own supplies. So right, I never right, even right. Intelligent Kyle thug. got a, like a big pile of weed on the table, getting his hair braided. He's like, "Oh yeah, it's downstairs." So I, I, I go down to the dungeon. This right. is the studio that they right. have. Uh, I'm like, just b- never had any of this experience ever before. Long story short, a couple weeks go by, my girl goes to Sweden, I get a call from a dude who works at So So Deaf, and is like, yo, man, I'm putting together this boy group, and they're going out on tour in August, two weeks away. My girl's cheating. She I'm out. Sweden. I throw all her shit out of my apartment. And I'm out. I, I cancel, I drop out of all my classes in college, and I just go on the group. I go on tour with this boy band group, going to schools and stuff, and teach. None of us ever sang together, none of us blah, blah, blah. We A couple of years of that. But we it's tour. a check. Oh, look. It was amazing. Most amazing. That's a whole separate story, but uh, that we did that for four years, school tours, and then we kind of turned into a boy band, and then we went to New York and tried to sign some label deals, and then the WEA merger happened, so right. we got dropped. Right. I got stuck in New York, and some lady at the mall was like, yo, you ever modeled before? You know that lady always like, hey, you ever thought about modeling? And I'm like, nah, 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 nah. And so she pays for me to do this competition. She like hounds me and finds me at like five five weeks in a row. And she's like, yo, there's this competition called IMTA in New York. Mm. And I'm like, okay, I got to go back home to Georgia. It's $3,000. She pays this $3,000 for me to do it. Wow. And she signs me up for modeling and acting competitions. Like 60,000 people from all over the world come to New York for two weeks to do all these competitions. Right. Acting, modeling, singing, dancing, everything about the business. Um, so she signs me up to do a monologue thing. 
and everybody's like serious. They've been trained. They're doing scenes from Scarface and like you know real serious shit. And I'm like, what's a monologue? I have no <laughs> idea right. what this shit is. I've been doing that boy shit band at stuff. the beginning of our scene. Well, she's like, when you just talk and it's nobody else talking, right? And I was like, all right, all right, cool. So I got like 15 minutes to like come up with a monologue. So I just do the scene from next Friday with Mike Epps, and that's it. Bunch of agents just hit me up. Mm. I was like, she sprayed the play, she sprayed the pimp. I took my shirt off. Everybody was like, just being real serious. It's like, yo, fuck this acting shit. I'm about to be I, funny. I, I never wanted to be an actor. So right. I was like, yo, fuck this acting stuff. I'm just going to do what I like. And, and this is funny. Yeah, so I give Mike Epps credit for getting me started in the Thank business. you, Mike Epps. Mike Epps. Shout out I to Mike, Mike Epps. Epps. That's the homie, too. That's yeah. family right there. I just was like, yo, can yeah, I do yeah, yeah, this thing? Mike. Mike, 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 cool as shit. Oh, man, he's we one got of my cover, heroes, man. We, we got it covered. He's one of my heroes, man. I love Mike Epps, <laughs> I think, because I, I don't think, you know, I never would have been in nah, got a chance had I just been like, yo, I saw it next Friday last night, so let me do that. Yeah, and that's that's it, it, man. Yeah, I stayed in New York for a couple years, did the modeling, acting, commercial stuff, McDonald's commercials, moved out to L.A., you know. And then comes single ladies. Oh, sing so single ladies. <laughs> Yo, single yeah, ladies single happened ladies. after 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 I went back to Atlanta. So wow. I was in LA for a couple years doing the normal stuff, letting Hollywood round off all my edges, and then right. I had to go back home take care of my mom for a little bit. So right. I, I kind of took off from acting for like a few months, and when I was coming back to LA, oh, wait, 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 was single ladies the one where you had to play like um, a gay guy? Yeah, we're yeah, getting to yep. that. Yeah, he's telling. We were the getting story. to that. Yeah. If you follow the That's story, he's taking you there. He on vacation right now. He don't got yeah. pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's chilling and pop. So so, yeah, I went back home to Atlanta, and Atlanta had just started popping off. And uh, my manager was like, "Yo, they're auditioning for you know something before. Why don't you practice? Get back into practice. I've been off for a year." And yeah, I auditioned to play Lisa Ray's boyfriend on the show, and uh, uh -huh. I, I got the part, and I I read the script, and I'm like. This is called single ladies, you know. I'm out of here. That's what this is one episode. Right. That's tight and everything, but Nah, I want to be here. Right. They had a character named Omar and it just the way they had his character written, he had a, a, a faux hawk, and I had a faux hawk at the time too. Mm -hmm. And the way he he just said some line in there, like somebody was hitting on him, he was like, Yo, honey, I'm not that gay. And I was like, I gotta play this dude. You know, and I and, and I wanted to make sure that I played it as the the thugs that I knew in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You know, because I knew some dudes who was one of them guys. Yeah. But you you didn't never You didn't know. Yeah, yeah, right. You yeah. didn't know. Atlanta, Atlanta different. Yeah, yeah Atlanta back. different. Yeah. You knew, but you knew not I, to say I, nothing to Yeah. Me. I was say, because I remember one time when I was did the Freak Nick, I don't know if you remember this, but this is one of the biggest things that always stood out from my mind. I'll never forget, we was at the gas station. This nigga pulled up in the car. Now, this nigga had it. From our view and point at that time, this nigga had on the wife beater, see some tattoos and shit. Nigga had the full beard, right? Nigga, the door opens up, and this nigga, nigga steps had on, out yeah. with the stiletto. Oh, uh, yeah, you see that? Nigga. And a purse. Uh, nigga, I said, what yeah. in the fuck is going on? You said that shit silently, though, because he lift, he lift, though, don't he? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah. Nigga yeah he'd have whooped your ass. Nigga was bop, nigga. <laughs> I was like, nigga, I, I, nigga, yeah. nigga, no, because yeah. he wasn't you. Right. You know, yeah, yeah, no, nah, I know. Yeah, yeah back know. then he wouldn't have whooped Trey ass, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so statue of limitation on heaters. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so was there ever any, um, you know, reservation about playing? Uh, absolutely. I mean, and I, and I, I come from Georgia, and I already, I've been exposed to that. I'm very open minded. I always considered myself very open minded. Even when I first moved to L.A., I bartended in gay clubs. They were the okay. only places that hired me. Uh, like no, I, and I spin bottles and spit fire, man. I'm a bartender in New York for a right. long time. Yeah, so yeah. Man. He's told me about his bartender day. Like yeah. he wanted yeah. bartenders that you want to see. Yeah, like, yeah. put, on, put the on the show. Yeah, hey. in New York, man. man. We should have had that nigga making the drinks up today. I made right? my own drink. Bro. Yeah. He hooked up my shot. <laughs> no, I was, I was, my shot was right. different. Yeah. 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 But you know, you come out to L.A. and and I, I really was chemicals, nigga. Really yo, face Trey. This nigga Trey face be killing it, yo. This nigga Trey face be killing it, yo. That's my man. What can I say? Dice. Hey. Oh, man. It's if you can them, see your boy's face one of, right it's now. It's one of them things that they be like, yo, whose man's is this? I got to be like, <laughs> that's my man's. That's my homie Dice. Uh, that's my fam, that's yo. That's my fam, yo. That's my fam, yo. But yo, I, I came out to L.A., man, and realized that L.A. is probably the most racist place I've ever lived. Low key. Yeah. It, 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 and it, it's, wow. it's uh, yeah. 
It's because subtly it's, racist. It's, it's, it's very, it's, it's very, yeah, in Atlanta, it's very, it's, so it's very you know segregated. Who, yeah. New York is segregated. Now, see, New York, you know what? You know who you dealing shout with on what street? Hey, 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 shout, shout out to the racist motherfuckers because they make us go even motherfucking harder. Fuck. They, they, that's true though. That's true. Like, it's kind of the, it's kind of the benefit of today's political climate, man. True. Most of us weren't educated and didn't want to be. Now you're forced to be because it has an effect on you and it's so out and open. That's why, yeah. like in Georgia. Man, I I went. To, we play football with kids whose dads are Ku Klux Klan members. Yep. Like, and it's just they live right down the street from you. Yep. They, you know, you you go to their house, but you know, like when their dad come home, that motherfucker don't like you. Yeah. Right. But but you he don't go to their house. Right. Right. It's just I can't stand them niggers. Well, my mom is a that boy Travis Winfrey. That boy sure can run. <laughs> my ninth grade, that niggers fast. My Duke's physical therapist used to go out to Covington. And you know out in Covington, yeah. that's in the heat of the night. Yeah. So that's yeah. way yeah. worse. Yeah. She done had people pull guns on her like, yo, ain't no black woman finna come up here and see my wife. Like, nigga, really, dog? You gonna pull a gun on the doctor, my nigga? That was yes. the first experience I ever had when we moved to Georgia from Kentucky. Was the first barbershop I walked in. Oh, perfect, perfect situation. Stone Mountain Village. Okay. So there's a little That's barbershop. Stone Mountain, Stone though. Mountain. Yeah, right. that ain't so, that ain't Memorial Drive. We had just moved from uh Fort Knox, and my dad was taking me to get a haircut, and he saw a little the barber wheel. Yeah, there, the wheel, yeah, yeah. And we walked in, and they had the white shirts on with the scissors, like. And he, they told him this is this nineteen eighty six, eighty seven. Oh yeah, it's still racist as fuck in Georgia. The first thing, the first thing I ever we don't heard, cut y'all. We don't cut your kind of hair. Yeah, that's yeah. what they gonna say. That's what they told us. When Nigga, we, I we seen that shit your, in the nineties. Mind you, this is a black neighborhood. Right. Stone Mountain, Georgia. Kind of. Well, yeah. But, but in 86, okay. 87, it wasn't as heavy as it was in the it, 90s. Chimney it was Trace, getting in there. All the so neighborhoods. The yeah, all, them, all the apartments. The but Stone Mountain Village is this old-timey village. just where the courthouse is, where the library is. And that's it's where like, the Klan meets. And right, right. It's where the Klan right meets. right next to the Stone Mountain Elementary School. But yeah. that's, that's, the, that's, that's the kind of climate. Anyway. Acting, I'm out of that shit. I'm back in L.A. I'm trying to change all that with Georgia. It's nice that they're changing up. They still the same, but, but yeah. I mean, I'm I'm trying to make make my way back there and bring a little bit of L.A. and the stuff I learned throughout that time back to Atlanta. Uh, I ended up getting oh. single ladies back there as soon as I ran away, man. That's what's up. All right, so she's over there telling us that we have five minutes. Now nah, we good. Oh man, we, we watching. We watching the door. As long as don't nobody him. walk up to the door, we good. I see no, him. but she's. Oh no. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. I, so I haven't been watching, I don't see anybody. By the way, anybody who didn't though. realize who that female voice was in the background, that is the one and only That is our Wells. engineer, Wells. Wells. You know why we call her Wells? Why? Because the first time we met her, she said, uh, like I, I, I only drink well drinks. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what? Wow. You don't like that Grey she, Goose stuff? She don't like the good shit. You don't she fall for likes. marketing? She, doesn't, no. she don't like marketing. Nah. Because she's right, man. Tito's used to be well vodka. It did. Until like, all of a sudden they put it in a bag. Look at her face. Yeah. Right yeah. Look at her face. Yeah. Yeah. And see that face right there? That's how you know she date light skin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. She know I'm right. Tito's was crap vodka. Tito's is like that Georgie and Popoff shit. We used to use that in the well. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, people like, oh, Tito's and this. I'm like, y'all fell for marketing, man. Absolute's trash. Yeah. Tito's trash. They'll give you any place that gives you free bar mats and stuff. Like when you walk into a bar, you see absolute bar mats. It's because they gave it to them for free because their vodka's garbage. Ah. That's why. If you see marketing, Lingo from bartenders yeah. that know shit. Yeah. Good stuff we don't doesn't be knowing need to be that advertised. Shit. Don't fall for that shit. Yeah, you like whiskey, drink that monkey shoulder. You never heard of it, but ask for it. All right. I like Tito's, though. I like, I fuck with Tito's. Because all vodka tastes the same. Dice, <laughs> you <laughs> like anything done. alcohol. So we're going to go ahead and throw Travis in the hot seat. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, 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 let me tell you a story real quick, bro, about vodka. So when, uh, when I was with my boy, uh, my boy Harvey, or whatever, out in Whittier, like, we used to go to the clubs, right? So and Whittier, we he's Mexican. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, finish your story. Listen, I mean, so so we used to go to the clubs, but we had we had a bottle of Grey Goose that we kept in the freezer. So when we finished that shit, we would go to the store and get pop off. You know what I'm saying? And then when we came back to the crib, we would put the pop off inside the Grey Goose bottle, and we called it the Grey Oops because all that shit tastes the, the fucking same. It's exactly the same. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, hilarious. People fall for that. 
people All right. do. <laughs> Thanks. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna throw them in the hot seat real quick because the, uh, the next uh, session is up outside and we only have a couple minutes left. So real quick, Uh-oh. This, Uh-oh. This, this is my new segment called The Hot Seat. Hot Ten seat. questions that we uh, kind of talk about in the barbershop, you know, just barbershop conversation. All so right. question number one. Celebrity smash. What celebrity would you most want to smash? Mind oh, you, this man worked on, with Lisa Ray. Because we got to go real quick. Yeah, I'm not allowed really to say any of that. My, okay. uh, my my celebrity smash is my girl. That's fine. But who I can't Good say. Guy. Who she is. Good guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tapped yeah, yeah. Great guy. Tapped out. Great guy. Tapped out. Tapped out, tapped okay. out on all right. that one. All right. Great. All right. All right. Uh, what celebrity would you most like to do a sex scene with? His girl. Uh, my, my girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save him on that one. He put that out there earlier. If you had to get stuck if Deadpool. Because we got to let him answer as fast as possible. We got to let him answer as fast as possible. All right. Um, all right. If you had to be stuck in one of these situations, zombie apocalypse or be the last person on earth? Oh, zombie apocalypse. Oh, okay. Dang. Yeah, I'm prepared. Floyd Mayweather versus Sugar Ray Leonard. Who wins? Can I hope that Sugar Ray wins? <laughs> but I know that Floyd put them hands on him. I don't okay. know. Nah, don't Floyd, know. Floyd can box, man. So oh, I'm sorry, Sugar I'm sorry. Ray. Sugar Ray wouldn't be able to put hands on Floyd. Floyd is a good defensive boxer, so I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, 90s Bulls dynasty. Uh, he said specifically the 95, 96 that went 72 said, okay. and 10. Bulls. That's fine. Okay, okay. That, that, okay. Bulls, that Bulls versus the uh, Kevin Durant and uh, the Warriors. 90s Bulls. 90s Bulls. Yeah, yeah, answer, good answer. Good answer. For sure. They played harder basketball back then. If you had to choose answer. one for the rest of your life, sex. Hey, listen, or, hey, hold hey, on, hey, dice, hey, dice, hey, dice. Should we literally have 30 seconds. So just give me one quick second. Let me run through these real fast. Um, if you had to choose one for the rest of your life, head or actual smashing? Oh, smashing. Okay. All day. Uh, let's see. Smashing in okay. Not at all. all right, here's one. Streak down the Rams Although field. Listen, all... streak down the Rams field during a game. Or fart really loud on a first date in a fancy restaurant. A oh, streak down the Rams field. That's what I said. Yeah. I told why fart. would I fart on the first date? Yeah, that's I what I said. I anyway, okay, why. okay, okay. Real quick, real quick. Real quick. I, I have the person. Hold on, cause I, I, I don't. Play that I don't. I'm light skinned dog. I can't real get quick, away with that. Real quick, real quick. <laughs> Prince of Michael Jackson. I'm light skinned. I couldn't make that work. Me too. Prince. Top like, five. He likes skin though. No, but but no, no, Michael Jackson really has answer. like we on time. She's pressing us. I gotta get you good, you oh, good, you go, go ahead, Top go five R and B groups. Ooh, that's Drew tough. Hill. Wow. Uh, oh, Drew Hill is a dope R and B group. Right. Drew Beauty. Hill. Beauty. Jagged Edge. Jagged Edge. Jodeci. Drew Hill. Oh man. New edition. Uh, no, yeah, new edition. And uh, wait. Oh man. Boys and Men. Oh, Boys to Men. Thank you. Thank you. Boys to Men. Yeah. Boys to Men should be number one, by the way. Gittle. No, 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 that don't count. That's a compilation of other things, man. Nah, that's that's cheating, dog. That is. And and they they the, once you pass fifty, you don't really count. As yeah, nah, group, nah, man. not as an R&B group. 50, nah, man, uh-huh. man there was that's yeah. nigga. What we gonna do next album? We could all put together and do an album. <laughs> <laughs> we just man, got, there was so many other things it. I wanted to talk about, man. But we our next time, man. We, I had we, to look. I'll come back through because I had to ask him to let me come on. I had to hit him up oh, on right? Facebook and was like, "Yo, y'all pie? No, but he saw the podcast. <laughs> he saw the podcast like, yo, I got to drop through. I yeah. like for sure. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I told him when you told me he was doing it. I'm definitely. So uh, we, through, we're man. probably gonna do another uh, round table. Oh, for sure. Man. And yeah, yeah, I definitely yeah. want to have you. I'm down. Down. You should I'm definitely down. come for the round yeah. table. Next time, yeah. let's pick a place yeah. where we can smoke. Dice, weed we only do round yeah. tables huh. when you out of town. Hey, tell uh, tell the people where they can follow you at. You can follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the people where they can follow you. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter and on that other stuff. I'm at Travis Winfrey. Uh like Oprah. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I really do appreciate you stopping through and kicking Anytime, it with us, dog. You Anytime. know what I'm saying? Thanks for having me, man. Hey, right. this has been another episode of Barbershop Talk Like This. I'm your host, Trader Barber. Cush in the building, as always. <laughs> Nigga, I ain't take your spot. I'm sitting in your spot, motherfucker. I'll take you dice spot right now. I got you dice because I'm part time, so you got your spot when you get back. No doubt. Got and you. we out this bitch. Peace. Peace.